Hello and welcome back. In today's Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight 10 things you didn't know about Gladys Mae West. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we celebrate Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Many of us do not know about the hidden figure behind the global positioning system, better known as the GPS system. However, it is mathematician Dr. Gladys West, whose innovation and genius pioneered the way for the highly valued technology that is installed on all of our smartphones. The Trailblazer participated in path-breaking, award-winning astronomical studies that continue to resonate several decades later. And while she wasn't portrayed as a main character in the movie Hidden Figures, she was among the small group of African-American women who manually executed computing for the U.S. military and space program. Gone are the days when people stop at gas stations and ask for directions while traveling on the road. If you are using your smartphone and the GPS to reach your destination, you have Dr. Gladys Mae West to thank. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring Gladys Mae West. So without further ado, let's get started. 1. West was born in Sutherland, Virginia in 1930. Dr. West was born in Dinwiddie County, a rural county south of Richmond, Virginia. Her mother worked at a tobacco factory and her father was a farmer who also worked for the railroad. West realized early on that she didn't want to work in the tobacco fields or factories and decided education would be her way out. 2. West received a full-ride scholarship to Virginia State University. The top two students at West High School received full scholarships to Virginia State University, a historically black public university. West was initially unsure what to major in, but ultimately chose to study mathematics. She graduated in 1952 with the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics. After two years of teaching, West then returned to VSU to complete her Master of Mathematics degree, graduating in 1955. West eventually earned a second master's degree in public administration from the University of Oklahoma. In 2018, she completed a PhD in public administration at Virginia Tech. 3. West was hired to work at the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Hired in 1956, Dr. West was a programmer in the Dahlgren Division for large-scale computers and a project manager for data processing systems used in the analysis of satellite data. In the early 1960s, she participated in an award-winning astronomical study that proved the regularity of Pluto's motion relative to Neptune. Subsequently, West began to analyze data from satellites, putting together altimeter models of the Earth's shape. She became project manager for the CSAT radar altimetry project, the first satellite that could remotely sense oceans. 4. West met her husband, Ira West, while working at the Naval Weapons Lab. Dr. West met her husband, Ira West, at the Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division, where he also worked as a mathematician. They were two of only four black employees at the time. They have three adult children and seven grandchildren. As of February 2018, West lives in King George County, Virginia. 5. Gladys's mathematical modeling were eventually incorporated into the GPS. Gladys is an American mathematician whose work on the development of the satellite geodesy models were eventually incorporated into the global positioning system. From the mid-1970s through the 1980s, West programmed an IBM supercomputer to deliver increasingly precise calculations to model the shape of the Earth. Generating an extremely accurate model required her to employ complex algorithms to account for variations in gravitational, tidal, and other forces that distort Earth's shape. Dr. West's data ultimately became the basis for the GPS. We are the largest community of Black Excellence enthusiasts in the world. Secure your membership by subscribing to our channel today so that you will become the first to know when we release our next featured video. 6. The GPS is used in almost every smartphone and mapping device. The Global Positioning System is a satellite-based navigation system made up of at least 24 satellites. GPS works in any weather conditions, anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day. 
Although West and her colleagues worked to make the data, system, and satellites available for military use, the U.S. Department of Defense made it available for civilian and commercial use in the 1980s. Today, it's widely used for navigating directions, map making, land surveying, asset tracking, and many other applications. 7. West was inducted into the U.S. Air Force Hall of Fame in 2018. Dr. West continued to work at Dahlgren for 42 years, retiring in 1998. The Trailblazer has been inducted into the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame. A special ceremony was held in West's honor at the Pentagon on December 6, bestowing one of the Air Force's Space Command's highest honors upon the pioneer, who was then 87 years old. Other honors have been bestowed upon West, who was also selected by the BBC as part of their 100 Women of 2018. 8. West is a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Dr. West's vital contributions to GPS technology remained unknown for decades. Gladys was putting together a short bio about herself for a sorority function that recognized senior members of the chapter. She noted her 42-year career at the Navy base and devoted one line to the fact that she was part of the team that developed the GPS system in the 1950s and 1960s. A fellow sorority member was so blown away by the statement that she decided to share West's amazing story with the world. 9. Even today, Gladys continues to pick a paper map over GPS. Surprisingly, even after playing a vital role in creating the GPS system, Gladys continues to pick a paper map over a tracking system, saying she still trusts her brain above all. 10. West Quote over the years, Dr. Gladys West was dedicated to staying true to herself and how she was raised. When you're working every day, you're not thinking, what impact is this going to have on the world? You're thinking, I've got to get this right. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.